Analytics dashboard designing is a billion dollar industry. By developing these dashboards, they're making hundreds of thousands of dollars per month. But the biggest barrier that keeps most people away from this is programming knowledge. Now, because of AI and itself, we can get past this. So get ready to enter this industry using this opportunity before it gets too competitive. I'm going to show you how I made this dashboard using ChatGPT without writing any code myself. Before writing the prompt, we need a clear understanding of what we're developing. There will be a side navigation bar, a header section, an overview section, a graphical attendance report, a revenue chart, and a panel to view top deals. We can't create the entire dashboard with just one prompt. We'll need to build it section by section. I want you to act like the best analytics dashboard developer. I will guide you to develop a dashboard step by step. First, we need to create a basic structure. At the bottom layer, there is a side navigation bar with 20 seven tabs in navigation bar. Use font awesome icons for each. First tab is dashboard that is the default. Last one is logout, make it red. Make the body and navigation bar background color black. And the top of the body, create the main section and let it empty. Make a radial gradient white background with sky blue and light green mixed color combination. Use rounded corners. Give me HTML CSS codes. Now we need to create an index file. I'll make the index file in this path because I plan to link this dashboard to the database. To do this, make sure you have the ZAMP server set up. If you want to know how to do that, watch my previous video. I'll link it below. After creating the index file, let's copy the code from ChatGPT and paste it into the index file. To load the dashboard, I'll open Chrome and go to my local host file location. Before we develop further, let's install this as an app. Let's move into the development of header section. Let's update the code. Want to create a professional header section in the top of the main section. Container of the header should be blurry and semi-transparent. Create a name and menu tab, search tab and three icon tabs. At last, create a profile tab in the right corner. Let us add our image to that. Balance container width using the width of name and search tabs. Give me HTML and CSS codes. You don't want to provide full code. Just guide me to place new codes into our project. Okay, copy the HTML code first. All the instructions have been provided, so we don't have to struggle to find the relevant location. Let's refresh our app to check the header section. Next, move into developing the overview section. Divide the rest of the main section into four containers. Apply the same background as the header. Create an overview section in the first container, let others empty. There are four cards in the overview section. Total revenue, net profit, item sold, growth. Beautify each section with font awesome icons. Also, get related results from the database. Get both data for this week and last week. Apply beautiful CSS. Give me HTML, CSS, JS, and PHP codes. Use the Ajax method. I'm gonna link this dashboard to my touch POS system. I have created a video about that too. I've added the structure of the sale table with database logins of that POS system to the bottom of the prompt. This time, we have just a little work to do. But don't worry, ChatGPT has provided all the instructions. First, we'll copy the HTML code and paste it at the bottom of the main section. Next, we'll add the JavaScript code. To do this, write a script tag and place the JavaScript code inside it. Finally, we'll create the PHP file and make sure to name it exactly as ChatGPT provided. All right, let's copy and paste the PHP code too. Now let's check out the result. Okay, next move into developing the attendance report inside of the second container. Get sales data from that table I gave you. Select the count of sales records group by the hour. Get the last seven days data. Create a unique chart using that data. The y-axis is the day, x-axis is an hour. Don't want to add the full name of the day. Make design simple. Use a square block for the chart. Make the square darker if that point has more sales. Make square corners rounded. Give me HTML, CSS, JS, and PHP codes. Okay, now you know the process is the same. So I don't gonna get your time. Let's speed up the process. The next part is important. We are gonna add a JavaScript library for the chart, so move in. Now create the revenue report and most popular item section in the other two containers. For the revenue report, use a beautiful JavaScript chart library. Use a bar chart to set a border radius of five pixels for the bars and get top selling items and display them in the last section. Use cards for top selling items. Add a purple rounded bar to each card. Use the same table and database logins. Give me HTML, CSS, JS and PHP codes. First, let's copy the HTML code. I'll replace the empty containers with the new code. 
Next, we'll copy the CSS code and link the JavaScript library in the head section of the HTML. Then, we'll add the JavaScript code within a script tag. Finally, we'll create the PHP files and paste each code section where needed. This could be the next revolution in programming, so stay tuned. See you next time.